All right, this is a special one, guys, uh, by Jenna Jackson, if. And now this is a request to... Um, this is probably, I think, my first proper real request that of a song that I wasn't 100% sure that I knew. And then I went and listened to the song, If. And I'm like, oh, yeah, man, it's been in the background of my head before. Um, so not something I'm a huge familiar with. But I, I, I think it's going to be cool. I like the original song. Um, it's going to be great. And uh, I've written down a couple of uh, people on the back of a set of Pokemon Fusion Strike cards uh, to say thanks to for, for recommending this. And that's Jerry Jaguar. Cool Beans. Dunk247 and Sawrib. I think I'm saying that correctly. But uh, thanks to those people because they requested this and um, we're doing it. We're doing it now because it's it's available and we can check it out. Uh, if is a song by American singer Janet Jackson from her fifth album, Janet, 1993. Jackson co-wrote and co-produced If with Jam and Lewis, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis um, and with Harvey Fuqua, John Bristol and Jackie Beavers. Sorry about the mispronunciation, if so. Receiving songwriting credits for their sampling of their composition, Someday We'll Be Together, performed by Diana Ross and the Supremes. I don't know why I said performed then. Anyway, If was released as the album's second single on July 13, 93, by Virgin Records. It fuses various genres, including rock, trip-hop, and industrial music, with elements of New Jack Swing and hip-hop. It received, if received critical acclaim, with most critics noting Jackson's evolution into a sexual persona from her prior uh, reserved celibate public image. It was uh, received a BMI Pop Award for most played song and also ranked uh, among Slant Magazine's best singles of the 1990s. It peaked at number four on the US Billboard 100 um, and was certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America. It also performed well in Canada, New Zealand, and the UK. You can read the rest of that because you have google.com.au if you're in Australia. No, it's just .com everywhere. Go and look at the Google page, uh, the Wikipedia, and read the rest of that because they know more about Janet Jackson than I. All I know is that Janet Jackson is an immensely talented artist and um, has some amazing music out, and you should probably go and try to find as much as you can and listen to it. I would recommend that right now. Whatever you're doing, just pause this and go and listen to If by Janet Jackson. I'll sit here and wait. Okay, you just paused the video and now you're back. <laughs> um, we'll move over to the mix window, but first, I've changed my title to be only 10 seconds, so you stop skipping it. So here it is. <laughs> All the best bits of the title. Now we're over at the mix window for Janet Jackson's If. And I'm noticing a lot of stuff here. There's plenty of loops. And I did do a little bit of pre-panning here. Just uh, in the spirit of my, my mate Hamid, who's interested in Dolby Atmos, I noticed five drum loops that are all the same. And I figure that could be panned um, to be like a 5.1 sort of thing, I suppose, or something like that. But we'll get to those. So we've got a few drum tracks here. 808, which is probably an original 808 because of the time that this was recorded. Analog kick, snare, some hats, some percussion, uh, a few loops. Um, acoustic keys, there's something there called China Chords, 01. Guitar, there's a lead melody, some noise, organ pads, a few regular pads. The sample from Someday, which is that song that we mentioned. Throb sample, which I had a quick listen to and goodness here we go loop which is just here we go over and over again um some more stuff and then we move into the vocals as well okay so uh let's stop screwing around and move over to the top the 808 and let's hear what that uh, big dirty bass is going to sound like coming through these headphones of mine yeah that's filth love it <laughs> it's very spaced out but let's pull that eq up so we can see what it's producing that's huge down at like 42 hertz, and it's it's like all 42 hertz too. There's not a whole lot else going on besides a slap at the start. You can see that slap happens around the 800 to the 1K. Oh, a little lower actually. Okay, so that's massive. We can, we've got all we need to know out of that. That's not a lot of information that we really need to soak up. But let's go over to this analog kick 01. Okay, that sounds like an analog explosion 01, but... Okay. I dare say that a lot of the beat is going to be provided by those loops. So we've just got this kind of breathing in and breathing out. I'll add the 808 in to have a listen to together. 
Yeah, we get that huge bomb drop sort of sound um, that happens there. We'll move over to the snare, and I'll just quickly preface this by saying that I did listen to all the tracks together, and it's very unmixed, so what we hear when we put it together is not going to sound as nice and smooth as the original, but it's still going to, you're going to hear all the elements anyway. That's the analog snare, really. These little popcorns. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, just pretty much a hundred hertz. And then a bit of eight hundred and a bit of what three fifty. Wow. That's quite interesting. Let's put that together with the... Oh, well, you're not going to hear much. Let's, let's go back to a part where there's something. Without the beat, there's nothing. Okay. Well, look, we'll come back to that. We'll, we'll move over to the hi-hats, which are going to provide a little bit of rhythm. Right early on in the start, here we are. Probably Lindrum hats, just because everything seemed to be at that point. still kind of sounds interesting. This is a little different to any other use I've heard of it. I mean, yeah, it's providing all the frequency you need, but but that open is almost like tuned down from the tick, 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 tick. you know what I mean? It's from the from the closed hat. It's more, almost like it's not in this, you know, it's not in the same pitch as the they've ch they've pitched the hi hat closed up and then the hi hat open down. So tick, it's really, yeah. And then it gets caught with that other one. That's really cool. I like that. So, I mean, that's going to add a little bit of time to these things so we can hear what's going on with that snare, that popcorn snare. Yeah, wow. Interesting. And then we've got this thing called HIT01. H-I-T, HIT. Wow. Super short. Super percussive. It's got a bit of a buzz in it too. It's like buzz sound. Let's see if I can filter it out. Gone. But it's around that, what, 200? Yeah, there it is. Just that little buzz sound. That's okay. It probably mixes together really well. Yeah, that's that's cool. <laughs> I gotta say. Yeah, that's mighty. One more. Yeah, that's huge. Now, guys, if you're listening on um, speakers or on your phone or whatever, put some headphones in because you're going to hear stuff in your headphones that you're not going to hear on your little phone speaker. So think of that when you're listening and listen thoughtfully. Okay, Pings01, my favorite name for a track. That's nice little, that wasn't a ping, that was more of a crash, but. You better need some pings on here. I was promised pings. Ah, that's kind of a ping. Yeah, this looks like a little ping. Ah, I want pings. I paid for pings. <laughs> okay, but what we're actually hearing here is some some recorded symbols that someone's you know put together and they put a mic up and. And you've got, yeah, some symbols there. You can hear a little bit of the room in them. Um, the tambourine's going to be pretty straightforward. This was quite loud in the mix, so I actually already brought that back. That's a um, drum machine tamp. You can see it's got a lot of low-end energy here. Where if I remove that, it's just sort of like... 
Now this is a story all about how, you know. <laughs> but it does have a lower percussive element there just to give it a little bit of pump. A little bit of body or something. Anyway, if that's not doing your head in already, let's go to this one loop. Now these are the loops here. Uh, all right, I'll straighten those out. I'll straighten those out. But these are the ones that could possibly be for um, a, a, a stereo session. But listen to loop one by itself. Okay, loop two. Yeah. Loop three. Mm -hmm. Loop four. Yeah. And then loop five. So we've got some loops here that are all very similar only until a few points where they where they change a little. Like here. And just because it gets cut out. And then we've got this other loop. Which changes itself here. Slightly louder and it removes the sample. Cool. Add in the original loop. Start ganging them up, right? I'll take that away so you can hear how this changes. So have they actually taken anything away or just volume? Let's hear. There's a low end. You know that? That's weird. It's still there. It's just like changed in volume. And they just added those effects back in. And then loop 5 also has some change here. Listen. Wow, that's interesting. That's that's a really cool section. That's really cool. I like that. It's um again like really in, like that industrial thing that they said in the wiki. That definitely does give like some definite industrial industrial vibes. But so what I had thought about doing is putting them all together and then panning them to be kind of like in sort of like a, a stereo fashion. I don't I don't have the ability at this point to um, do 5.1 um, like mixing here because I don't know how to set that up to be perfectly honest with you or know how to listen to it because I don't have anything with that capability. But let's try this just for a fun, um, you know, from track one to track five. We'll just pan them up and see what happens. Um, I'm going to try, do loop one and loop five are going to be the extremities. I'll probably leave loop three down the middle. And then, yeah, we'll do it as we go. Let's, let's leave that. Okay. Let's play them. Yes. That's so chunky, man, when you put them all together. That's so good. Throw it down there. Left one. Right one. Yeah. Go about halfway on that. About halfway on that. That's kind of cool, man. See, I like that. I reckon that sounds really cool. As opposed to, let's hear it um, unpanned, right? Straight up the middle. And then those astute listeners with their headphones in are going to hear this. I like that. I love panning. One of the cool things I like about mixing stuff, how much of a difference just panning something can make. If you've got something that's intrusive, you just move it to the side a little bit, it could leave room for a lot of things. I think, yeah, when you break mixing down to its fundamental form, volume, Everything is volume. Equalization is changing the volume of certain frequencies. Compression is changing the volume of transients really quickly. And panning is changing where the volume comes from. So there's really simple ways that you can make things sound fun and cool. 
I remember I got my first recording thing and I was just amazed I could multi-track things and then go, oh my God, I can hear myself on the left and on the right. So cool. But enough about me. Let's move to the acoustic key section. <laughs> okay. That sounds like a guitar to me. Do you reckon they're they're do you reckon that's an acoustic instrument or do you reckon that's a really good MIDI instrument? It looks like a real instrument, the recording. But that's that's sus. That kind of thing is sus. I want to go back there because I can hear some of the body of it and it sounds like a real instrument. Yeah, I can hear like string movement and stuff. Like that, that... See what I'm saying? Yeah, that's got to be that's got to be a real instrument, but that's gorgeous. That sounds really, really cool. Wow. I hope whoever played that got a job on the tour. That's really great. So I'd love to know what kind of instrument that actually is there because that does not sound like a standard acoustic guitar. It almost sounds like a bloody MIDI instrument, but I'm not quite sure what type of instrument it sounds like. It's very cool. Um, maybe it is a MIDI instrument. Maybe it's just a really good in MIDI instrument. What did I just do? Whew, messed everything up. Okay, uh, this one's called China Chords. Let's hear that. Okay. Okay. So we've got obviously some like oriental instruments or in the vein of and then they've they're using similar kind of like harmonies as to what you'd find probably in Chinese, traditional Chinese music. Really cool sound, a very interesting sound. Cuz although that's been recorded quite nicely, it definitely still sounds a little kind of not rough around the edges, not like distorted, but just different, just different. I li I'd like it though. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just zoning out here listening to this. And then this... Okay, what do we have here? This is just some little popcorn sounds. <laughs> They've just put them on that same track. That's really cool. All right, so that's kind of that snare sound again. I'll move back out to here and we can see some more of that. That oriental, oriental sound. That China Chords 01. I always love oriental instruments. I've always wanted to do like a... Um, a, a cover of Confide in Me by Kylie but all in traditional um, stringed oriental instruments. It would be so, so cool. I reckon it would lend itself really well. Move over to Guitar 01. This thing's so obnoxious. It's mixed really well on the final track, but in this version, it's just really hard to kind of pin down. Get a load of that. Well, 
that's full on, isn't it? Let's see what all that noise is about. And it's taking up, you can see it's eating so much of the frequency spectrum here that it needs to find somewhere to live. So it, in the in the um, original version, it's actually a little duller than this. This sounds quite abrasive. <laughs> But it's, that's a cool tone, man. I know plenty of fuzz dudes would be pretty happy with that. As a lead tone. Just madness. Alright. I really need to know the song well. Well enough to see if I'm going to get a shred machine solo out of this song. Here it is, alright. Okay, we're going to listen to this bit for a minute. That's some theremin stuff right there. All right. Going wild. That's wild, man. That's, um, I'm not going to play it again, but, uh, that's wild. <laughs> now, this might be some vocals that I accidentally didn't move. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I'll move those. That's all I need to know. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to move those down to... Get down. Get back. All right, there's a few more to go before we can move on to those. Um, just here will be fine, I'm sure. All right, uh, so we went to the guitar. There's Noise 01. Noise 01, and there's not a lot on this, so this is kind of candy. PCM samples really crushed. So I don't know how they got that, but to me it sounds like um, a sampled drum machine that's just been like pitched so far down. It might have been like a hi hat that was supposed to go, and they've pitched it so far down, so it freaks out and into samples and just makes a horrible noise. But let's hear it one more time. That's crazy. I like that. Excuse me, I can hear some noise coming out of me. I wonder if... I wonder if that actually is what that is. That'd be really cool to find out. Um, and I suppose one way to find out is to find out... Uh, how could we do this? Can we, can we convert, can we process this somehow? Processing. Selection-based processing. I've not tried this, guys, so... I don't know if this is true, but <laughs> if you skip, if you if you don't want to watch this, skip you skip through about a minute because I'm going to see if I can speed this up. I wonder. All right, I've got an assignment for someone because I can't do this within thirty seconds, so it's hard to me. It means, it means I don't want to do it. Whoever's watching, record this sound. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Then I want you to speed that up by a lot until it sounds like a t -t -t -t. and then send it to me and I want to see what it sounds like because I don't know how to use logic. I'm a fraud. Actually, no, I'm not a fraud. I told you I didn't know how to use logic when I started this 61 episodes ago. We got more of that. We got more of those. But hey, help me find the secrets. You know what I mean? I don't care about it that much that I really need to know, but... I can kind of guess. It's probably it. I've seen enough of these in my time and heard enough weird stuff to realize that's probably pretty close to what it is. Um, all right. The next channel is called Organ Pad 01. Let's hear it. It's cool. Okay, we got some coral sort of pads going on there.
It's not quite detailed, but they're still very mid, just happening in the mid-range. Light and airy, though. That's almost a, a dance pad now. Oh, that's kind of funny, the little note that popped through. Ready? That's pretty cool. That's very loud. Alright. Okay, I'm going to move over to the pad number one next. Let's not do organ pad, it's pad 01. Pad number 101. That's beefy. Some serious Jupiter vibes or Juno vibes going on. Cool. I'd have kept going with that. I would have done a whole EP based on that. <laughs> Tangerine Dream. That sound. That's super cool to me. I really enjoy that. It's just got a bit of something in there, a bit of character, you know. And I love that it's being made on the spot inside the machine and then re reproduced by being released by the notes, huh? That's cool. That's super cool. All right, I'm not going to go too far with that. Okay, we can see. Let me hit that other organ pad up real quick. No, it's more of that. And then put them together. Wonder if Panning will be good. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for when we put it together. Just see what it sounds like. It'll be fun. Uh, pad lead 01. So let's hear that. Go right to the start. Sorry. Maybe that was it. That's real loud too. That's whack. Sounds like it's been played on like a sampler, like an actual keyboard. Really strange. Again, isn't it so funny to hear things in songs that are just so out of left field and frankly unpleasing to listen to on their own and then put them into these massive number ones, like... You know what I mean? Or number one of his charting ch songs. That's offensive to me. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen to this noise. I would not go and pick that sound and be like, yeah, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go bop, 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 all the way through a Janet Jackson song with it. But they did it and it worked. Yeah, that's nice. Very misty, mystical and nightly, this sound. And then you plonk all the way over it. What a strange, strange sound. Okay, I've got to move on to something else. The Someday Sample. Let's hear a little bit of that. And then what else we got? Boom. Is that it? Are you joking? I oh, know, we move along to here. So we've got this low note. And then we got this. Okay, so they've taken that part from that song. How many 
gets a little bit excited over you. And I mean, we might as well get ahead of ourselves because there's vocals on this channel, so let's hear it. I close my eyes and thought of us a hundred different ways. I've gotten there so many times, I wonder how about you. Day and night, night and day, all I've got to say is... Jam. Remember that song that she did with Michael? Sounds a lot like this. <laughs> People will be jumping down my throat for that one. But well, I'm going to do that one too. I've got that. I'm going to hear that. That's a great song. Throb sample. And um, <clears throat> uh, if you're sensitive, um, go away because this will trigger you. Listen. Yeah, my goodness. Three and a half minutes of that, guys. Yep, it goes for the whole length of the whole song. It's just never ending. So what do we get to? We get to... 4 minutes 45, so... Yeah, there's a, long, a lot of uh, a lot of moaning and groaning going on here. Okay, we'll move over to the Here We Go loop. Uh, it's got a little bit of a pre-text here, precursor. Here we go now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, and then for the rest of the song... Here we go. Very rhythmic. Um, yeah, I don't envy whoever had to mix that. And that sound sounded a lot like this sound. I'll give you a couple of them and then listen to the end, right? And then listen to this. Maybe it's a, a different instance of woman groaning. Um, yeah, perhaps. Okay, this is called Bridge Comp, and I believe that's probably going to be a vocal track, so that means it's time to subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks to people who are doing that, because um, I've now hit my 4,000 viewed hours, and... Um, and and I'm just lagging on the the subs, so please do give me one. I really appreciate that if you do. There are a couple of opportunities here for me to um, be able to become a legitimate person who um, who makes these things, and you have provided them to me because I wasn't going to do more than 25 of these, and then I realised how much of a, a positive effect it's had on a lot of people who wanted to watch them, which also had a positive effect on me and made me want to do more. So I thank you and appreciate you all for that because. Um, yeah, it's good to good to want to do something for more reasons than just wanting to do it, which is also the fundamental reason why I still do it, because if I didn't, I'd pack this shit up and leave tomorrow. Um, you should always do what you want, and um, as long as that's not going to hurt anybody else. But it's been a really enjoyable time to be able to do them, and um, thanks to people continuing to subscribe and to continue to comment on the videos and tell me their stories about Janet Jackson, about Michael Jackson, about Britney Spears, about um, Barry White, uh, who else? We've done so many. We've gone through a lot. Like, this is a lot of songs, man, that we've we've had a look at and we've learned a lot of really cool stuff. I've already started to apply it to my own songwriting, my own uh, approach to music and all these other things. Even just everyday problems, deconstructing them down to kick, drum and snare and figuring out what those sound like before I attack a whole problem. Um, so yeah, thank you all for that and I really appreciate that and I'd really appreciate if you um, had a bit of a subscribe for me. Um, there are a couple of other guys that do these videos and they, uh, they're, they're very talented gentlemen. Um, but unlike those guys, I'm not here. I don't want to sell you a course at the end of those videos. I just want to put them up. I'm not going to hold you ransom, um, for the videos that you want to see. If you request something, I'm not going to be like, well, maybe when I get a thousand subscribers, I'm going to go, okay, if I can find it, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you. Jerry Jaguar, Cool Beans, Dunk247, and Sorib, Sourib, oh, Sourib, I'm so sorry, uh, for mispronouncing that, but I will just do them because I think that they are good and they're important to me and if they're important to you and you guys want to hear them then I'm going to find it and I'm going to do the best I can and I learned something today too I learned something about this through these four people so thanks anyway that concludes my TED talk on subscribing to my fucking channel <laughs> oh my goodness bridge comp let's hear it great Jam. Cause your girl know the things I 
Okay, this is chorus diff. And make you call up my name, I'd ask who it belongs That's cool. Those harmonies, man. Janice got great harmonies, always has. But I'm not, so I can't, then I won't. But if I was your girl. Oh, that's so cool. Can't wait to layer it up with the, with the full lead. How good. It sounds super smooth, too. Yeah, you can see here. I'm going to go back. You can see it's very smooth. There's not a lot of sibilance. Sibilance, look that word up. It means these sounds. You know those? Those sounds are sibilant sounds. Those are the also the breathiness there. It's it doesn't have that, but that doesn't need that. It doesn't not saying it needs it. Just I normally would record it with it and then remove it if I didn't want it. And in comparison, like once you hear it this way, right, and you get used to this concept, everything else starts to sound like it's sung through a pillow after you learn and get this stuck in your brain. I've been brainwashed with this top end stuff. And then you take it away and you get this. You know what I mean? Which is still good. But I'm so used to having and hearing that top end that I'd spoiled something. Not spoiled, but it's made me notice when they're not there. And then move to this other part in this chorus. If I was your girl, all the things I'd do to you. And make you call up my name, I'd ask who it belongs to. If I was your woman, the things I'd do to you. But I'm not, so I can't. I'm not, so I can't. If I was your girl, know the things I'd do to you. Nice. Yes. Together. And then this. Oh. This is a ghost vocal take, right? No. So I won't. Oh. I won't then. I can't. I can't. I won't. Oh, the ghost vocals here are sick. Let's hear those. If I was your girl, all the things I'd do to you. And make a call up my name, might ask who it belongs to who. If I was your woman, the things I'd do to you. But I'm not, so I can't, and I won't. But if I was your girl. So a lot of people um, refer to ghosts uh, in, in, in recording vocals, and some people misconstrue that word and think that it means the backup vocals, like they're the ghosts in the background. No, no, no. A ghost take is a take that you do as a placeholder. It's like you would go... And sing it just so it sounds like whatever, you know, like that's the gist of it. And then you go in and you do a proper take. Like you might have not even used the right mic. You just go in with a handheld mic and you go, if I was your girl. And then you come back in and you've got a full mic set up and you've learnt the song better and maybe you've rewritten some lyrics and then you'll go and pump out a full track. The ghost, a ghost is normally that. And this is what this is saying that it is. So I dare say it probably wasn't used on the final track, but who knows? I don't know what the source of this actually is. Um, then we'll move to chorus unison. You know what I mean? So I can't, then I won't, but if I was your girl. I, oh, like, I mean, that's a lot, right? That's 13 decibels of extra top end that is not in the track. But I always, I just feel like I need it, you know? It's like I feel like it's what I need. All right, and then this other track is called Chorus B. Oh, that's a low take. Hang on, there's a couple of little bits here I want to hear. <laughs> I love listening to those little bits. Okay, there's one coming up too. Let's hear it. Just singing in the background. And then, lay it on me. If I was your girl, all the things I do to you. I'd make you call up my name, I'd ask who that's what I want. belongs to. If I was your that's what woman, I want to hear. the things I do to you. But I'm not, so I can't, then I won't. But if, if I, I was, was your girl... I'm doing this because I want to, right? But if I was your... And then I'll just quickly listen to the other one because I just need to satisfy this in my brain just this one time, okay? So we're doing that real quick. Girl, all the things I do to you. As opposed to that? Make a call okay. Up my name, I'd ask who it 
belongs and to not my, you. No, it's not my mix, but I want to hear this. Actually, let's go to chord, chorus deaf too, and I'm do it to that. If I was your girl, all the things I'd do to you, and make you call okay. up my bring name, I'd ask who it belongs to. That's you. what I want to hear. If I was your woman, the things I'd do to you, but I'm not, so I can't, then I won't. But if I was your girl. That made me feel good that I got to hear that with all of those, with all the EQ on it. Um, even though it's supposed to be smooth, but let's hear it without it and let's hear it. If I was your girl, pillowy, the really I smooth. You, when I say pillowy, I'm not using it as a negative term. I just mean it's a little fluffier than it is. It doesn't have a crisp edge. It's not like um, perfectly ironed linen over the top of a pillow. I mean, it's a little more fluffy and all that kind of stuff, but... Listen to it. So this is the this is the fluffy version, which is the one we've got. And then, if I was your girl, yeah. all the things I do to you, mm-hmm. I'd make you call up my name. I'd ask who it belongs to. If I was your woman, the things I do to you, but I'm not, so I can't and I won't. But if I was your girl. Okay, so we got that, and then th- what I've just done to it by desecrating the original, and I'm t- terribly sorry, but just for my own personal curiosity, is this. This is the more refined sound, the more def- defined sound, rather, like with a lot of all those things that I like. Listen up. If I was your girl, all the things I'd do to you, I'd make you call up my name, I'd ask who it belongs to. If I was your woman, the things I'd do to you, you know what I mean? Like, I love that. Just that little bit of crisp. I love the crispity crunch. I love it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my damn. Um, all right. And then we have another chorus here, which is it's going to be the same. We'll move it along to... If I was your, if I was your girl, okay. The we'll bring it in with this you. lead. Make it Bridge. Belongs to you. If I was your woman, the things I'd do to you. But, but I'm not, so I can't, can't and I won't. won't. But if, if I was your girl. And then we got a few coming up here uh, towards the end as well, which. If I was your girl. Oh, what was that? I won't. Again, I just, I don't know why, but I just feel like I'm listening to it through a pillow. Go back. Yeah, yeah. I won't. Whoa. I like hearing that breathiness and detail. I won't. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it's not my mix, so let's not mess around with it. It's not mine. Um, all right, let's go move over to this. Uh, some of the lead tracks now. High lead comp. Now this is going to be a composite, as I say, um, of some of her best takes. Sitting over here staring in your face with a lust in my eyes Sure I don't give a damn and I don't know that I've been dreaming of in my fantasy Never watch you like the me, don't even realize that I'm on you But do fulfill my needs, think of what you want and let your mind free Run free to a place no one dares to Sounds like a one take to me, it doesn't sound like a comp at all She also sounds like she's singing it quite quietly I don't miss it, I'm doing play with your mind Doing this in the studio, we're going real high Cause you're wild and imagine my body and just take your time Cause you're weak, got all night Ooh, you on the rise as you touch my thighs And I let me know what you like if you like I go down, 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 down I'll hold you in my hand and baby Okay, that's cool And then there's a little bit at the end If I was your girl, all the things I'd do to you That sounded like a bit of a split in the tape there for the comp So let's hear that Hear that? I'm I'm stressing over that. There's no point. It just sounds like a bit where you would normally cross cross something over, but I don't know if this was recorded on tape or not. Would have been hard to do. Maybe comp there just meant compressed. I don't know, but they did cut that again. 
and make a call up my name might ask who it belongs, belongs to. to if I was your woman, the things I do to you, but I'm not, so I can't, then I won't. But if I was your, if I was your okay. girl, oh. so I slipped around. That's that's cool. We'll go to this high, this lead comp MTV Live, right? Okay, this seems to be some kind of MTV Live version. That means that these background tracks could possibly be, and someone educated me on this in the Shakira video, because they could be live tracks for her to play, uh, to sing to, to perform to, maybe. Isn't that cool? There's not all that going on. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Pumping up. <laughs> getting pumped. I hope she's getting pumped. Up for the. God damn it, I just want to speak. Sitting over here staring in your face with a lust in my eyes. Sure, I don't give a damn and you don't know that I've been dreaming of you in my fantasy. Never once you looked at me, don't even realize that I'm wanting you to fulfill my needs. Think I want you want to let your mind free, run free to a place no one. How many nights I've laid in... She stopped for to, to have seas go through so she'd catch a breath, Free right? Free to a place no one... Seas. How many nights I've laid in bed excited <laughs> over you. you. I've closed my eyes, thought of us a hundred different ways. I've gotten there so many times, I wonder how about you. Day and night, night and day, all I've got to say is if I was your girl... That's cool. Put in some of these. It belongs to you. If I was your woman, the things I do to you. But I'm not, so I can't, and I won't. But if I was your girl. Damn, that's cool, man. Can't hear myself. Can't, what, what, can't, what, hang on, wait, I'll turn you up. Hang on. Can't hear myself. You still can't hear yourself, right? I love me some time to play okay. with your mind, and you'll get there again and again. Close your eyes and imagine my body undressed. Take your time, because we've got all night. You wanna rise as you touch my thighs and let me know what you like if you like I'll go down na down 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 na down down I'll hold you in my hand You're smooth and shiny feels so good against my lips sugar I want you so bad I can taste your love right now baby That's so good. What's this day and night by the day All I've got to say is if I was your girl oh, the Okay so we're just I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit to hear this uh, MTV comp right MTV comp, MTV live or whatever, right? This has all those things that I was talking about that I was trying to add into the other ones. Listen. It already has a lot of top end definition in there. I don't need to add all that. So there we are compensating for the stuff before that didn't have it because it's just background vocals. It just needs to create a, 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 a chord in the background. You can kind of hear the words. When you listen to songs, you don't really hear words. You kind of just hear shapes, right? Do, do you, but I'm not, but, so I can't, then I won't, but if I was your girl. See, now that you've got this backup vocal in, you don't need to hear all those all that stuff. Because the lead's delivering it, and the rest of it is just making the vowel shapes sound thicker and wider with a chord. See, I'm adding them there by going... On the top of them, I've always wanted to do a take where I did all the sibilants first and then all the vowel shapes later. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. A lot of stuff in around though. Oh, wrong button. Okay, uh, go to that lead, the original lead, that one that says lead comp. Smooth and shiny, feels so good. You see, it's still got that. Lip, sugar. I want you so it's bad. probably got a little less than the other one, so I'd probably want to feed it some top end. But I can taste your love right now, baby. Day and night, night and day. All I've got to say is, if I 
special girl, all the things I do to you. I'd make you call up my name by the school it belongs to. If I was your woman, the thing... I'm leaving that on there because I want to. Um, sorry. Uh, I'm going to move to lead ghosts now because we've got some cool stuff there. I'm going to move to those lead ghosts and see what happens. Cool, cool, cool. And I'm going to put the, um, we'll listen to low lead comp. And we'll just see. I mean, I've got a feeling I don't know what it's going to be, but we'll put them together in a moment. Sitting over here, staring in your okay. face with a lust in my eyes. Sure, I don't give a damn, and you don't know that I've been dreaming of you in my fantasy. Right. Never once you looked at me, don't even realize that I'm wanting you. And then the high one. Do you think my knees think of what you want? Let your mind free, run free to a place no one dares to. No one dares to. I thought it was no one sees. Sitting over here, staring in your face okay, with a. Got them all the high ones too. Let's go to the second part so we can give that a run. I love me some time to play with your mind and you get there again and again. Close your eyes and imagine my body undressed. Take your time because we've got all night. Ooh, you on the rise. With you this though. My thighs and I, let me know what you like. If you like, I go down, 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 down. I'll hold you in my hand, baby. You're smooth. And okay, so that's obviously for this whatever MTV Live, right? So we'll remove that for the moment and assume that. In the actual track, this is all that happens. Yeah. All right, so we can safely assume that. I've just also realised that we missed out on going back for the instrumental, so we'll just have a quick listen to that, and then we'll get back to the vocals. Uh, analog kick. Nice. Fake snare. Hats. Hits. Pings, there's not a ping in sight. Cool. Tambourine. Loop one. Oh, we'll just go all those loops together, right? And I panned them. And then this weird instrument. I'm going to bring that down because it's clipping. And these China chords. And I'll put that guitar in last, but organs. So that's pretty meaty, and the vocals are obviously, because it's so unmixed, the vocals really don't come through that well um, at this volume or whatever, but uh, that's okay. We've, we've done with that top half, so we can listen to the bottom half now. Um, together, let's hear those vocals. I might, I might um, I'll, I'll delete, I'll, I'll mute the MTV Live one, okay? Sitting over here, staring in your face with a lust in my eyes, sure I don't give a damn. Okay, yeah. we'll don't add elements as we go. Here 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 we go. We will do that. We'll add instruments and we'll, we'll give it a mix as we go. How many nights I've been in bed excited over you? Can deal so far. Yeah, these are all good. These these aren't stealing from the song. Now we're getting a bit sticky. Alright, now we can start to hear that it's starting to get lost a little. Uh, we can hear that's going on. Um, very cool. I'm going to move over. There's just a little bit of singing that I want to hear. You. Many, many. Oh, all I get to say is. Get rid of that ghost. And go back to hear that main vocal. Oh, get rid of the MTV one. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay, listen again. How many nights I've I've laid in bed excited over you? I closed my eyes and thought of a hundred different ways. I thought of 
One more time, let's get out of here. That's so good, that's so good. But I can't, so I can't, and I won't, but if I would just... There's if. There it is, there it is. There's if uh, by Janet Jackson. Um, for our new friends, Jerry Jaguar, Cool Beans, Dunk247, and Soul Rib. Um, thank you very much for coming to watch that, and thanks for uh, requesting it. I had a good time. Um, I like the song. I'm going to go put it on the put it on a Spotify play- playlist. So um, I hope you guys do too. Go and check out the video clip; it's really cool as well. Um, and yeah, and please um, don't forget to to have a look at some of the other videos I've got up here. There might be something you like. Uh, enjoy them, and um, yeah, interact with them. I, I'll I check these things every now and again, and write back to you so we can have a chat. Uh, thank you very much. If you've got anything you'd like to listen, like like me to try, give me a message. If you've got any stems you'd like to submit, give me a message, and um, I'll have a crack at them for you if they if they kind of meet up to what I'm sort of trying to do. Uh, I appreciate that a lot, and thank you all um, again. I can't thank you enough. Really, thanks so much. Enjoy that. Go and enjoy some time with your friends and a glass of water, and don't forget to GFY. Bye. <laughs>